welcome to today's vlog. It's Vlogoween. So today we're gonna make a fun little dessert kind of thing. We got this thing on our newsfeed recently about a Harry Potter butterbeer blizzard from Dairy Queen. Um, we don't really go to Dairy Queen, so we thought we'd get the ingredients at the grocery store and make it ourselves at home and see how it turned out. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan and uh, Joe likes, you know, snacks and milkshakes. So we're gonna see how this turns out at home. So we're gonna give it a go. A little copycat at home butterbeer blizzard. First off, we went to Publix. We grabbed some vanilla ice cream, some Butterfinger Bites, this little bag of Butterfinger Bites, and some butterscotch topping and some heavy whipping cream. So first off, we're gonna start off Oh, and some vanilla extract. I'm gonna start off with the heavy cream. So we're gonna start off with our heavy cream. Just gonna pour some in the KitchenAid here. Eh, probably that's good. A little heavy cream. If we have leftovers, we can always stick it in the fridge for later. So next up, I'm just gonna put a dash of vanilla extract in there. Just a little splash. Oh, that's more than a little splash, but that's okay. I'm gonna take the butterscotch and I've got a little like honey dipper here and I'm gonna put it in here and like splish it around the cups and see how that goes to make it a little artisanal. I mean, how this works out. A little bit around the rim of the glass as well and just kind of make a little sticky edge on the rim. Alright, so we've got our rim of our glass ready. The cream is ready. Turn that off. ready to go once we have the rest of it done. Got our ninja here ready to go. I just grabbed some natural and artificial flavors. This is really healthy. Joe did not grab the, the good stuff. I'm just gonna chuck it into our blender here. I don't really know how much we need, so I'm just gonna put a whole bunch in. in our butterscotch. I don't know how much to add in, so we'll start there. Ooh, making a mess. All right. right. We got our butterfinger bites. Oh, they're like baby butterfingers. Like quite the mess here. We're gonna see how this goes. This guy goes here. Okay. Ready for this, guys? I don't know if I'm ready for this. Maybe low. All right. Let's see what happened. Oh, look at that. That's pretty good looking, doesn't it? All right, how many ounces is that? 32, 8, 16. Yeah, so that's about good, I think. All right, so let's see how this goes. Yeah, so that's about good, I think. All right. So the rims didn't exactly do what I wanted them to do, but it's gonna have to work for now. That's what we got to work with. This is so thick. I don't even know if it's gonna come out right. Look how thick that is. Get our whipped cream on there. I 
could have probably made this like cuter using a piping bag, but I'm not really feeling like doing that today. We're just gonna plop some whipped cream on here. I think it looks more butterbeer-ish with the, the plops of whipped cream versus the, the other. I think it look really cute. Halloween-y. Look at that. So cute. Put a little Butterfinger bit on top. Here we go. All the butterscotch swirls that I put on the inside, because they look kind of messy, but they look good once you put stuff in them. Wow, that's really sweet. It's good. I would definitely do this again, I think, for a Harry Potter night. It's tasty. I definitely think we'd make that again. I think Joe's gonna really like it once he gets hopped out of the shower and gives it a try. All right, well, that's it for now. Our little Harry Potter night is about to start. Um, yeah, that's it for this little copycat recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. It's definitely not healthy, but we're gonna enjoy it. A little indulgence never hurt, right? <laughs> Bean's playing with his toy in the background. All right, everybody, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.